Welcome to the Post Glover YouTube series. Today we will demonstrate how to refresh the firmware on a Post Glover Pulsar Plus .NET High Resistance Grounding System or HRG for short. This instructional video is generic for all of our Pulsar Plus .NET HRG systems dating back to about 2010. The latest version of the firmware can be sent to you by Post Glover either by email or we can actually send you a new SD card. The SD card is installed in the small slot on the PLC that's on the inside of the unit. Please note that you cannot change the name of this file or it will not load correctly. You will also need to note that the name of the file so that you know which one to choose in case there are multiple versions on your SD card. Note that depending on the, upon the vintage of your unit, some versions of software may or may not be able to be upgraded to certain other versions. You can contact Post Glover with the serial number on the main nameplate of your high resistance grounding system to find out what can and cannot be updated and to get a copy of the latest version of software. Before we start, note that the current version of your software is shown on the lower right hand corner of the main screen on the PLC. As you can see in this case, the version on this unit is currently 7.0. The first thing you need to do is press the System Info button on the top left corner for about three seconds. This will prompt you for a password. This is actually the admin password and is different than the user password. The default password to use here is 1111. After that, you press the Enter button on the right and that will bring you to the Info Main Menu. Next, we choose the System which is option 2. Now choose option 7 which says SD. We are choosing this because the versions of software are actually located on the SD card. The next option will be restore from SD or number 1. Then we go to cloning which is number 5. This will bring up a list of firmwares that are loaded on the SD card. If you recall we stated earlier that there might be multiple versions listed on your card and you should have noted which file is the one you want to use. In this instance, we're going to use the bottom one. Before we proceed, you should be aware that an extremely loud alarm horn will go off for a couple minutes while the old firmware is being removed and the new firmware is being updated. Therefore, we suggest you either place a piece of tape over the horn before doing this or hold your hand over it when it alarms. The horn is typically located just above the PLC but the location may depend upon what style of high resistance ground assembly you purchased. After you highlight the version you want to use by pressing the up and down arrows on the right, you need to push the enter button and once to choose the version you want. Then a second time to confirm your choice. The system is now loading the firmware you choose. Here is when the alarm horn will sound and we disconnected it for this video so you don't have to hear it. After a couple of minutes, the firmware will be loaded and you will see the introduction screen. When completed, it will then go back to the main menu screen. You can now look at the bottom right hand corner of the screen and check to make sure the version listed is the one you wanted to load. As you can see, it has changed from 7.0 and is now version 7.2. If you have any questions, please contact us by email at sales at postglover.com or give us a call at 859 283 0778